Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we are doing the Abookalypse tag. This is a tag originally created by Liv from Red by Liv, so I will leave her original video down below. And I was tagged by my good friend Spencer at Common Spence, so thanks for the tag. This is essentially a whole bunch of questions related to the end of the world and books you would save and characters that would help you and all of that. So it's super creative and I'm really excited to do it. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Number one, evacuate. Everyone is out safely, but you can only go back and grab one book. What do you grab and why? For this one, I chose one of my all-time favorite books in, I think, a very beautiful edition, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and this is the Penguin Threads edition. I found this at Half Price Books for like $8. I adore this story. I love these characters. These women are like role models for me, and this is just such a beautiful edition. It looks stitched um, on the front, and then inside it actually looks like the back of like a piece of fabric or something like that, um, which I just think is cool. But now I have one of my favorite books in an absolutely beautiful edition and I am not letting it go for anything, not even the end of the world. Number two, it's the Apocalypse. Choose a book that would help with your survival skills. For this one, I'm going with Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This essentially takes place after an apocalypse when everyone dies from a plague and there's no power, electricity, technology, anything like that. And it's a story of um, a traveling uh, theater troupe, and so it is entertaining um, as well as informative for how to survive the end of the world, sort of. Kind of. I don't know if this would really help. I'm doomed anyway. I, I'm not surviving an apocalypse, I can tell you that much. Number three, grab anything you will need. A fan or book-related item that you would want to save. I'm totally going to cheat with this one. I don't own very many bookish or fandom-related merch things. If the end of the world was here, I'd make sure I was wearing my Khaleesi Mother of Dragons t-shirt and I'd be wearing my Harry Potter Toms to uh, keep my feet protected. <laughs> but then the fandom item I would grab is actually this photo. I don't know if you've ever wondered what it is, but this is Yoda. Sir Yoda. This was a <laughs> graduation gift from Adam's brother um, and Obviously, we can't let that succumb to the apocalypse. This needs to join us on whatever journey we take when the world ends. Number four, zombies are coming. <laughs> Gross. Which books on your TBR are you dying to read? So I have three that I'm going to mention. First is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. I loved Wonder Woman the movie and I love Leigh Bardugo because she is a goddess. I haven't had the chance to read this yet. I'm super into the idea of all of these um, famous fantasy authors writing like Batman and Catwoman and Wonder Woman so I really really want to get to this soon. I just bought it. It just made its way onto my shelves. I also recently purchased The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey for like three dollars at half price books. This book has been on my TBR for a while. It's one I'm hoping to check off my 2018 bucket list. It sounds kind of creepy, kind of sci-fi, mystery. There it seems like there's a lot going on and I would like to finally get to this. And last is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. This is just one that sounds hilarious and wonderful and lovely. It's becoming a movie very soon, so I want to read it before I see that. And the movie looks really wonderful. This is also on my 2018 bucket list, so definitely dying to read it. I need to get my hands on a copy. Like, now. Now. Question five. We need fire. Which three books would you be willing to burn from your shelf? And yes, you have to choose. For this one, I'm going to say Firefight by Brandon Sanderson, Inferno by Dan Brown, and Illuminae by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> I think I'm hilarious. No, but for real, I just did an unhaul. I posted that last week, so I don't have that many books on my shelf that I like want to sacrifice, so instead, um, I hope you had a good laugh. I was very proud of this. At least, pity laugh, please. Number six. All the stories were true. Which fictional world would you never be able to survive in? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> I am not destined for a post-apocalyptic uh, dystopian world. That's, mm -mm. I like my comforts way too much. But if I have to choose, Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. This is a very interesting book. This sort of also takes place after the apocalypse or end of the world or something. Yeah, it is one that I don't think I would survive. And 
I mean, I could pretty much answer any post-apocalyptic book for this question because I just, I'm, I'm, I'm soft. Number seven, Lone Survivor. Which character would you choose to be your companion or protector? <laughs> this was the easiest question to answer. Khaleesi, Daenerys Targaryen, first of her name, mother of dragons, etc. Because A, I think she would be a wonderful person to spend some time with, and B, Mama doesn't go anywhere without her dragons, so... Number eight, all of the literature is gone. Which book would you introduce as the new classic? For this one, I chose The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I adore this book. I love this movie, so I'd absolutely make sure that I have both a copy of the book <laughs> and the DVD because everyone needs to know about this. And it's like a lighthearted, fun, exciting, adventurous tale that will make us all feel better after the world is over. So, question number nine is to start a new community. Tag some booktubers to complete this tag. I will link a few channels down below in the description box, so check there to see if you're tagged, but also check down there to see some other channels and watch their lovely videos. I'm excited to see how they answer all of these questions. So that is everything for this video. Thank you so much to Spencer for tagging me in this video. This was super fun to think about. I really hope that I never have to live through the apocalypse because, uh, if you want to keep the conversation going, you can leave me a comment down below, or you can find all of my social media links in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. But until next time, happy reading. Bye.